What's up everybody, I am in Warsaw and I have some thoughts. Before coming here, I heard a bunch of people saying that they didn't like the vibe of Warsaw and that Krakow is the best place to live. Now, I kind of agree with that in terms of just the overall vibe and how chill Krakow is. But in terms of if you like living in the city, I think Warsaw is a really amazing option for many reasons. I like how in Warsaw, the population is still quite small compared to most major cities. The relative infrastructure of the city is actually really good. Something that surprised me a lot is how good and efficient the metro system and the bus system everything is here walking around the city you're going to notice that warsaw is very very clean the metro stations are beautiful reminds me of the metro stations in ukraine some of the parts you'll see kind of trash here and there but for the most part i have to say that warsaw is very very well maintained so as clean as warsaw is one of the downsides is that you're going to see graffiti everywhere so many of the buildings here have all of this like graffiti on the walls and it's such a shame because the rest of the city is so clean like if you look at all the roads and even the public infrastructure, the freaking metros, everything's super clean. This is the only real stain that I see Warsaw has. If they can clean up the graffiti, the city would be like on a whole other level. And it's kind of a shame because there's a lot of beautiful buildings here and there's a lot of new development with the apartments and the stores and everything. But the graffiti kind of ruins the overall image. I think one of the biggest draws of Poland is definitely going to be cost of living. I think maybe around eight years ago, it was a lot better. But surprisingly right now, the cost of living here in Warsaw is not that much greater than it is in Krakow. You're going to be spending a lot more in terms of rent here in Warsaw because it's obviously the capital city. But if you're cooking a lot of your meals, you're going to the grocery store, Store, you're eating at restaurants all that stuff is gonna cost pretty much the same as Krakow and if you compare it to cities in for example Western Europe you're gonna be paying probably like half the price in general for everything I was talking to my buddies and they were telling me that in order to live comfortably here in Warsaw you're gonna be spending probably around two thousand to two thousand five hundred dollars a month living in a city eating at really nice restaurants you know being in the middle of the business district with all these beautiful buildings everywhere so compared to some other places in Western Europe you're gonna be pretty much paying like half the price to live here in Poland. I feel like Warsaw is also the perfect size because as far as like a city is concerned it doesn't feel too big or too small it feels like a nice little middle ground. The population my friends are telling me it's around two million. You don't really feel it it doesn't feel extremely crowded but you still kind of get that city vibe. You know for me I think I would personally still want to stay in Krakow because that's more my vibe but I'm definitely considering moving to Warsaw because I think there's going to be a lot of opportunity here in the future. Something I noticed is that there's a huge Asian population here in Warsaw. That's amazing because it has some of the best Asian restaurants in Poland. I visited my friend's apartment which was a little bit outside of the city and it was filled with Ukrainians, Indian people and Chinese people. Also something to keep in mind because Poland does not offer a real estate visa you're not gonna have a lot of foreigners coming and buying all the land at least not in the immediate future. However something that they do offer that I think is really smart a lot of the investment visas that you can have to get residency here in Poland are offered through business so starting a business or doing a startup. It seems that Poland is going towards more of the business investment route for people to get residency here. I think there are going to be a lot of businesses that are going to eventually come to Poland. They don't technically have a digital nomad visa but there are some work around the system where my immigration service friends can help you out with. So I think it's going to attract a lot of entrepreneurs wanting to do business here. The real estate is already going up very quickly especially after the whole entire Ukraine conflict. All of those factors coupled together I can see this city exploding within the next five to ten years. Warsaw has some of the best restaurants in Poland. I ate mostly Asian food here but every single place that I went to was delicious. You'll probably have the highest tier restaurants of Poland here in Warsaw but you can find restaurants of all price ranges. I've went to a lot of milk bars that had prices that were cheaper than Krakow actually and I would say like the average meal here is going to be around the average meal that you're going to be paying in Krakow but there are a lot more options here and because it's a city there's going to be a lot more restaurants that are open either 24 7 or until really really late which is kind of an issue that I'm running to back in Krakow. As far as tourism is concerned, you know, there's a lot of really awesome museums and monuments that you can see here, which are kind of cool. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think places like the Riverside are as beautiful as Krakow. I think Krakow is a lot more maintained and it looks more historically Polish. Warsaw, because a lot of it was destroyed in the war, looks like a regular city. And even if you go to the old town, a lot of the buildings are beautiful. It doesn't have the same level of history because all the buildings look new and renovated and it just doesn't hit the same. So I was walking around the old town and I wasn't super impressed. I think the old town in Krakow and specifically of Wrocław is a lot nicer than it is here. But if you're looking for more of a city lifestyle, Warsaw has a lot to offer. Before
before coming here, a lot of people told me that the people in Warsaw are not that friendly. And to be honest, that is not the impression that I got. I think most people are just generally minding their own business, but if you're walking around and super respectful, people smile at you on the street. It's not like the super amazing greeting that you'll get in a place like Latin America or Spain, but people will look at you. You know, I just give them a little bow and the whole Polish smile. You know, it's like the kind of like this and then they smile back maybe as an asian person i have a different experience because they're very familiar with us here they're just so used to seeing us all around the streets i don't know what it's like trying to you know go out with people and maybe make friends here but i was able to meet up with a couple of my friends and they've all told me really good things about warsaw so that was definitely a misconception as far as vibe goes i think warsaw it maybe is not the best place for me to settle down long term because i wouldn't want to raise my kids here but for a season like for this next year i really want to get involved in business and try to do as much business here in Warsaw as possible. I like the energy of the city. Warsaw has a more vibrant energy than Krakow. Krakow is like a nice place to raise the family. It's a lot more chill. Whereas Warsaw, you have that city energy. As soon as I came here, I felt like I wanted to work. I wanted to hustle. I wanted to meet people. And there's a lot of people on that same wavelength. It's not that big of a city because you can get around most places in the city from like maybe 30 to 40 minutes because of how efficient the public transport system here is. You do have trams, you have buses, but you also have a pretty in-depth metro system which was very surprising actually the 20 minute ticket here in warsaw is cheaper than the 20 minute ticket in krakow it's also a really amazing place to bike i love biking around european cities krakow is a really nice place to bike around especially around the river because the views are amazing and the architecture is fantastic you can bike around most places here in warsaw the infrastructure definitely supports it and there's a lot of beautiful parks and monuments that you can bike through that make it very conducive to biking if you have an electronic scooter that's also really nice too just most of the city it's flat so you can get around here quite easily also because there's a huge asian population here i feel a little more at home in krakow there are a lot of tourists that pass through so i don't feel like an outsider being an asian there and there's a lot of asian people like the viet community that are really big in krakow but here in warsaw you have asians from everywhere you have a lot of viets you have a lot of chinese people surprisingly you have a lot of korean people and it seems like these asians have been here for maybe a generation or so already because walking around you see so many interracial polish and Asian couples. Most of the time you'll see an Asian guy with a Polish girl, but it's quite common to see the other way around as well, which I guess is what we're more used to in the West, a white Polish guy with an Asian girl. So now speaking of girls, something that really surprised me about Warsaw is that here there are the most attractive girls in all of Poland. Krakow is nice, Wrocław is nice, but as far as concentration goes, here you're going to see a lot. Even though it's hard to tell if they are Polish or Ukrainian or some other type of foreigner, especially right now during the summer, if you walk around the malls, if you walk around during the restaurants you're going to be falling in love every single day you kind of get the best of everything the women are curvier and beautiful and tall and really take care of themselves maybe it's because there's a lot more competition here or also maybe just because there's a higher population of people here you're going to be seeing a higher concentration of like more attractive women plus because there's a lot of money here as well all of those factors put together is probably why the most attractive women in poland are here even though the girls here are extremely beautiful it's also hard to say what their personalities are like how open they are to foreigners and if these girls are more interested state and relationship right or just kind of like typical city people all around the world are more about hooking up in promiscuity we'll have to see in the future my friends say that in general polish people are still very conservative and people here are generally more for relationships but i think big cities everywhere are definitely their own bubble and you're going to meet a different kind of people in general if you guys are from warsaw let me know down below what you guys think of how the people are here how they date i think in general people from smaller cities in the villages are going to be a lot more conservative i'm going to have lower body counts are going to be more interested in relationship than people in the city anywhere in the world there's definitely a lot of variety here and i think there's also a lot of mixed people as well black polish that's not as common the most common that i've seen is like asian polish viet polish or chinese polish you're going to see that everywhere and i think in warmer generation you're going to see a lot of mixed kids as well but being a foreigner doesn't win you as many points as some of the smaller cities because you can't really take advantage of the exoticness factor they're so used to seeing foreigners and not just asians but also indian people there's a lot of black people that i've seen walking around as well it's not like that's going to give you an edge when it comes to dating there are a lot of really nice areas here in warsaw and surprisingly a lot of these areas are run by ukrainian people there's a lot of ukrainians 
and Belarusian people that have bought properties. So that's something really interesting about those countries because if you go to Ukraine, you would think that it's a poor country. That's not technically true. It's just the wealth gap is really, really wide. So there are actually a lot of Ukrainians and Belarusian people with a lot of money. All of those people because of the war migrated from Ukraine and are investing in buildings and buying places here in Warsaw. So because of that, there's uh, somewhat of a real estate bubble now. But as soon as all the Ukrainian and Belarusian people start leaving the country and things get back to normal, I think real estate prices are going to balance out again. But because there's a lot of foreign money coming into Poland, they've invested a lot into the infrastructure. So the metro system and they're building a lot of all these buildings that you can see in the background. Like if you walk around Warsaw, you're going to see a bunch of buildings like this in construction, all that stuff everywhere. It still seems like it's not that big yet, but I think in five to 10 years, main center of Warsaw is going to be packed with a bunch of business buildings. So it seems like a really good time to come and invest. The cost of living right now is quite good, but I personally think that in the next five to 10 years, it's probably going to almost be on par with a lot of Western European countries, just because right now you're getting like a first world living for half the price. But as soon as more people find out about Poland and Poland continues to grow and become a richer country, I think things are going to also slowly start to get more expensive because you can even see in the last five to 10 years, things have probably gone up in price, maybe 30, 40% already. Some of the cons of Warsaw, the energy is a little heavy here. If you more like the vibe of a chill city like me, Krakow is definitely the better place. If you're in the mind to work, you want to hustle, you want to network with people, Warsaw is definitely the place to be. But because of that, there is a overall heavy vibe of a lot of people are trying to survive here, which will push you to work harder. Some people thrive in that environment, but some people get overstimulated by that and don't like it. There's a faster pace of life here. I wouldn't say is as intense as a place maybe like London some of the more popular capital cities in Western Europe a complaint that I've also gotten with from some of my friends is that a lot of the buildings here look the same and I can definitely see where they're coming from if you go to a place like Colombia or Ukraine the taste is a lot more refined there's a lot more variety but because there's a bunch of foreigners that are coming into Warsaw into Poland I think it's overall increasing the competition of everybody of restaurants of design of buildings in a few years it's gonna be an extremely cosmopolitan city I also think that because there's a lot of development happening there's a lot of dust in the air now so my allergies have been acting up like crazy there's just constant bombardment of dust and it's a very windy city as well so that's just kind of a product of all the construction plus there's gonna be a lot of noise if you're living in like the heart of the business district and as it slowly starts to develop more the prices are definitely going to go up also the tap water here is not that good and I think that's just a comment of Poland in general because the tap water in Krakow isn't the best either but here it definitely feels a lot more polluted They're like there's a lot of chemicals in there so when you're taking showers and when you're drinking from the tap it's not as nice in ukraine the tap water was really good in austria the tap water was really good here it feels like city tap water with a lot of pollutants and everything load up on the lotion because your skin is going to dry out a lot when you shower here so even though i'm not really a city person on a scale of one to ten i have to give warsaw a nine out of ten this place has everything that i would want in the city plus it has a smaller population so it's not as chaotic as some of the bigger cities i like it so much here that who knows i think you guys will be seeing me here in the next few months do you guys agree do you guys disagree let me know what you guys think in the comments down below peace